Greetings, my friends. I'm, of course, Elder Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Old World Blues, playing as New Canaan, in which we are in quite a unholy war against the infidels of the White Legs. Right now, as you can see, this isn't exactly where we left off, but we're pretty close. Um, I've been pushing my soldiers back to a more optimally or optimal defensive position, but it's still not back right right now. Right now, I'm really hoping we can hold out up here so we can get up to there because, oh god, no, 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 no. You cannot, you're not allowed to do that. Please retreat a little bit faster to your left or right so you can, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, see, you can see these lines right here. I wanted these guys over here. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Please do something like that. And I need you guys to do something like this. Please, for the love of God, for our holy savior, please do not die. Please. I mean, casualties right now, they're not bad. They're just not great. They're just not great. Alright, so you're over here, but you gotta help move over more quickly. You gotta just go ahead and retreat for now. That's fine. If we get pushed back a little bit more, you know, whatever. Anti-tank probably won't help us out right now. Uh, field hospitals probably could be pretty good for us. And they keep taking more land because our guys are taking forever to move. Which is really garbage, I'd say. Really, really quite garbage. Uh, they keep expanding, which means just stretching out their lines more and more and more, but that won't mean too much when we have nothing to defend with. So, you guys keep moving around. If you have to retreat, so be it. That's fine. Go right there. Let them come in. The more land they take, the more areas that they all get resistance. And it's going to suck for them. 2300, we lost 800 so far. But I'm really worried about this. Please. You have legs. Please move those legs so they can stop taking over more of our land. Oh, crud, they cut our guys in half. That is not good. Uh, let's see. What can I do? I really don't want to lose New Jerusalem. I really don't want to lose New Jerusalem. Yeah, but you know what would be worse? If we got cut off. We could push back out here. We're probably going to have to. Let's be real. Let's go and push that way. We can't lose New Jerusalem. We just cannot afford it. Yep, you know what? How much manpower do you have, White Legs? They have quite a bit, I think. Five to six thousand. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of guys. That's a lot of guys. Holy crap. Uh, if these guys lose, we'd still be okay. Frequency analysis. Good. Encryption. Still pretty good. Now, we're defending here for now, which is fine. They're not going to be able to hold, though. I, I, I can already tell they're not going to be able to. Uh, get some outposts. We're going to have to make an attack here or something. Alright. Uh, old world political guy, that's fine. Uh, you should be able to actually survive here pretty easily. Alright, so they're moving around. They're adjusting a few things. We haven't been cut off just yet. They have four divisions. They have all The wild legs are incredibly strong. An incredibly strong nation, which is unfortunate to see. Get another division up there. You need it. Ah, scavengers found something good. Old world factory schematics. Faster construction speed. Infiltration tactics for more leg recon. Leg recon. Leg infantry. Reconnaissance and soft attack and hard attack, which means we are done with our focus tree for now, which is a good, 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 good thing. Grab that. So now, even if they try to attack us, they're, they're going to have bigger, way bigger problems because we actually have a good amount of recon now. Which is a good thing. But let's go ahead and send arms to the traders or the tribes. We can provide firearms to the tribes of Utah. Every bullet they fire at the White Legs is one we won't have to. Good. Anything else here? Scavenge. Eh, it's probably worth scavenging still. Anything else? Mobilize. We could lower. Uh, we're already pretty good on stability or war support. I mean, we're pretty good on war support, so I don't want to lower that too much. All that matters is that we can defend and kill off as many of these heretics or infidels as possible. Ooh, do you have upgrade? We need more defense. Uh, let's see. You are a field marshal, but you're actually just a general right now, so doing all that stuff would be a waste of time. Anyone else have upgrades? No, not yet. But we can hold out here. Actually, that's not bad. Uh, they're still attacking here, which is good. Alright, we got some sort of defense up here, which is nice. Over here, we actually might be able to push these guys back a little bit. Even though I'd prefer to take these guys out. Uh... You know what? We could try that. All but one. Come here. You guys hold. Don't even attack. You're going to attack this way, actually. Maybe we can encircle them? That'd be kind of good. Hold on for now. Hold on. Just dig in, boys and girls. Oh, boy. That's... Oh my gosh, do you see how many divisions that we have to defend against here? That's so many. That's insane. Can you guys actually help out there? No, you cannot. You're going to have to help out. Six divisions, come on, you guys got this. Can't be that bad, right? 
Harbor, right? Oh, we're actually fighting New Jerusalem. So, West Utah? Oh, it's only one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to keep you guys there for now. That's not much, but it might be enough. No, it's just not going to be enough. God dang it, that sucks. Okay, well, uh, that was a waste then. So be it. Let's come back down here. Kill these guys off. Push them back out. Push these guys back the heck out. There's only five divisions there. Oh my god, yeah, we can't do a jack squad here. It's like, oh, hold. It's fine. And you guys do the same thing. Hold. We can't push them out. The best thing we can do is defend. And defend, we will. Kirby. Uh, idiot savant. That's not bad. We could grab more equipment capture ratio gain. I'm looking at my defense. Let's go, Mr. Stranger, for now. It's fine. Are we missing anything? I mean, besides planes, we're doing pretty darn well on equipment, so I'm not too worried about that. These guys are going to get the snot smacked out of him. But he's level 4 in defense, so that's pretty good. Ooh, I, I don't ever feel comfortable having this these enemy armies this far into my territory. I mean, New Jerusalem is a literal frontline city, which is not good. But with more and more, like, recon on our soldiers, I'm feeling okay about that. We're, getting, we're still mobilizing, which is good. I'm not sure for how much longer, but they do have seven recon, which is awesome. They already have recon companies on them, so even more recon than normal. And stim packs are going to save us lives. So last time we went with Holy Hand Grenade, which was great. We're going to blow up these guys. Happy 2279, another great year of our lord, even though it might not be as great as other years because we're getting attacked. Reliability, I'm going to go with more south attack and piercing and stuff like that. I think that'd just be for the best. Uh, but it looks like they're really injuring the, our, themselves on our line, which is great. They've taken 4,000 casualties. More, they have a little bit less than double our division count. And we've suffered about 1,000, probably 1,000 plus casualties, let's be real. Irrigation, very good. Let's grab a little bit more population... Uh, with that, no. Uh, we could do that. Anything here, anything there. Land options done. Special forces, let's do that one. Why not? Seems like a good thing to do. Send arms to the tribes. That's a good idea. We might want to save up political power as well. Does anyone have more uh, XP? Anybody want to share? Share the wealth? Share the wealthy XP? And a couple comments are like, uh, like let's talk about a drink yesterday. You know, I normally drink a drink. It's kind of a sin when you drink it if you're a Mormon, but, uh, I'm not saying I'm Mormon, but, uh, let's just say I don't have that drink. I have a holy brew of darkness. Yes, a holy brew. A flavored holy brew, we'll put it like that. Please don't lose here, guys. You can't afford to lose. Good, we threw in another division in there. That's nice. And we've got another d division ready to go as well. That is good. Oh, you actually spawned right here. That's interesting to say the least. But it looks like they're starting running out of equipment. Maybe a little bit of manpower. Probably more equipment. They've lost 5,000. That ain't enough. Scavenger's Drive, great, another one. Loudspeakers, more political power gain, more mobilization speed, which we can actually finally use for a little bit. And this is a mighty step into the future. They still have plenty of political power. They, I guess they have no more stockpile of equipment, which is a good thing. So we're gonna really mo get mobilized the rest of this manpower very quickly, which is nice, and arms to tribes. I think that's it. No, oh, here we can do it. Uh, we might as well do it, why not? Bring word of the White Legs, it is time. The White Legs are at the gates, and we have made plenty enough fuss to warrant a good beating. Deus, Volt. We might as well do it, why not? We might as well. Cool. Yeah, they still have... That's actually pretty weak down here, but then again, we can't really do anything about that. Sit here and take the beatings. The beatings will continue until morale improves. Manual prospectors. Followers. Do we? We don't need any more of that, do we? No. And also another comment was like, the 45 auto pistol that we chose for our guns. It's an iconic piece of new Canaanite weaponry. We'll put it like that. Yeah, iconic piece. Very iconic. Uh, let's see, anything else? We just have to have holy defensive maneuvers, that's how we're going to win this war. Uh, it looks like they've stopped attacking though, which is a very good thing for us. Now maybe we could try a little attack on our, of our own, perhaps? Yeah, maybe you won't move. We might be able to, you never know. Oh, looks pretty good. They're saying another division, which even if they do, it won't... They're saying another eight divisions in, okay. Well, let's see what happens, and we're probably not going to win. Never mind. Never mind me. All right, well, let's circle those four divisions and see what we can do. Oh, it's six divisions. My bad, six divisions. Ah, <sighs> good, good, good. We're actually on the defensive a little bit, which is nice. Mormons are not just a defensive, peaceful folk. If they are push, push too far, well, they'll come back right at you and shoot you with a couple of forty-five pistols and holy hand grenades, which is a great thing. Uh, you know what? Since we have them, you might as well get them. We got the army XP for them. We killed them off. Great. Next up, though, I wonder if we can circle just one more division. Just one more. No, you're not going to move, my son. 
if at all possible, we're going to make sure that you stay still. Just, just a little bit. Both of you help out. We gotta move these guys quickly. We're gonna win before we get here. Oh crap! Oh, we won't be able to encircle them. That, that's that's garbage. That is garbage. How can you not win before you kill the, that one division off? That doesn't make any sense. We're attacking with way more soldiers. Why are you stop attacking then? Why? Oh come on, come on. That's such garbage. Uh, let's see. Anything else here? Not really. Yeah, really not really. Uh, do that. You might as well. Anything here? We're gonna get paid soon. Very good. Very good. All right. Well. With uh, the way it's looking so far, not bad, actually. I was a little surprised we're actually able to push that quickly into the enemies, but you know what? We'll take it. Specialized Warfare, great. Boom, boom. We can cut, cut those guys off. Oh, what a fun piece. Boom, boom. Oh, uh, we'll grab some of this. More organization? Sure, why not? Well, we've killed off six divisions. Pretty good. They've lost 7,600 people. Very nice, very nice. Dismantle stuff, follow technology, aid, sell outdated equipment. We could do that, but we could probably want to keep it for now. We only have 790 more stuff, so. Anti-tank, meanwhile. I don't want to put, throw too much more manpower on here. Even though we're still mobilizing, bring more to the white legs. You know, whatever. Uh, let's see. We don't have enough for that, and it costs 15 manpower. That's not bad, actually. Alright, well, we could save the political power up, or we could do construction engineering. Hmm. Man, political power. I say, how about we get some more... Hmm. If anything, we will probably eventually use APCs, maybe? Maybe not. I might just use tanks, though. We might go with Tim's tanks. Get a translator, daily people support. I don't really care too much about that right now. Naval equipment production. Just go for more political power. It's fine. Cool. Well, good luck. Send half you guys with them, but only half you guys are going to come to Fairfield. See what you can do. And actually, since we have one, or none... Close air support. Good luck. You might be able to break through those five divisions. You might not. Slowly, it looks like you are, which is a good thing. It'll soon be 8,000. We'll probably be soon at 8, 2,000. We're getting there. Come on, come on, come on. Radio detection, not bad. Radio detection, radar detection. Come on, help them out, help them out. Go, we push through. Can we push through here as well? That is the ultimate question. Yes, maybe? Yes? Hey, we cut them off! Look at that! We actually cut these pieces of garbage off. We love it! Get a tool. Good job, guys. We I can't believe we're actually on the offensive. This is... This ain't, this ain't bad. Get a tool. Grab that political power. We gonna need it. Nice. Help them out, and by help them out, beat these savages up as best as we possibly can. Good. Oh, they're attacking us in reserve. So that's actually two plus four is usually two plus two is four. Five. Five plus five is usually ten. Five plus three is usually thirteen. Sometimes, depending on who you believe. So that's not bad. Thirteen divisions stuck in here. While we can still defend. Ah, God, I love the Mormons. I love New Canaan. Ah, yes. Decadence. Well, it could have been worse. So next time I play as the actual Mormons of New Canaan, I will play as a, a very decadent nation. Incredibly decadent. Now we're probably done mobilizing. Yep, we mobilized very quickly. That was the fastest I think I've ever mobilized in any of my games. So that's pretty cool. I would prefer this, Mountain Hawk. Tarwalkers, Tarwalkers have to be a puppet. Eh, we might not ever get there, actually. It's fine, whatever. Let's go with some tanks for now. I do want that eventually. Good job, guys. Good job. Uh, you guys, you, you're you not allowed to hold or move. I mean, you hold the entire time until you get the soldiers back. Flexible designs, nice. Wait for the soldiers to come down. That is fine, that is fine. Grenade rifles, that'd be fun, but we don't need them yet. Unfortunate suppression, sure. Come on, guys, get in there, get in there. Contact lost. Jeremiah Rigdon has lost contact with one of these groups. Well, that certainly ain't very good. Send a rescue team, though. Okay, we found him pretty quickly. I got political power back. Good. Good. Alright, well, we got another division instantly made. Great. You guys defend there. And then the other side will defend over here. Oh, buddy boy. 
We're still getting attacked by quite a few divisions. Which is fine. We've killed off 12,000. Not bad. That's actually... That's, we're doing a lot better than I thought we would. Like, you just gotta shift your divisions around far enough and make sure you actually get recon. Recon is so helpful. So incredibly helpful. Oh, uh, Old World's Max is gone, so be it, whatever. Oh, uh, no longer rapidly mobilized. That's fine, whatever. Gotta love it. We might be able here, here, to here. These three tiles might be best to do. Uh, let's see. Here, just do light ships. It doesn't matter. They're not attacking over here, which is a little disappointing, but whatever. Ranger Mountain Training, nice. We got this one as well. Just go ahead and grab this. Put them on there, that's fine. CQC Training, grab some more Breakthrough, which is a greatly, great thing that we're going to need. Captured Lost Souls Bunker, huh? There you go. That's the way you're going to go. They've lost 12,000. As I take a sip of my Holy Brew of Darkness. Mmm. Tasty. Pioneer Day. I love Pioneer Day. Stability, political power. What would you not love about it? What would you not? Good. Help him out. Uh, if that's the case, everybody continue spotting the guys over there. Just go there. It's fine. Alright. I doubt we'll really be able to break through here easily. But you can go ahead and go that way. You can take half the guys too. Go that way. You go there and take actually two divisions just to stay there. See what you can do about that though. It's six divisions. It's quite a few. If they don't break through, I won't be upset. I kind of... Yeah, uh, they might break through, maybe. Do they have any armor? It doesn't look like it. Slowly we're beating up that militia division, which is good. That's a very weak militia division. Wow. Guns are good. Spec Ops are good. Planes, not so good. The white... The press captures White Leg's plan. Somehow members of the press have captured White Leg's plan for a major offensive. It turns out the same reporters who criticize the glorious government are also willing to report on the arts foes movements. This is a stirring reminder that whatever our differences, we're all new Canaan. More recon and decryption. Oh, that could help out right here. We need that right now if we can help smash through these enemy lines. Keep it up, keep it up. They might throw some more soldiers over here, but you never know. Game of Triumph, great. Robco Industries, nice. We actually got something I really actually wanted to see something different this time. Robco. Well, do we have it? Oh, it's up here. Well, as much as I said that, we can't really use robots unless we're like doing like other stuff too. If we can keep pushing that way, that'd be great. Oh crap, now we've uh Come on man. Come on. Just hold on for now. Hold. Better radar. We should probably actually use the radar. Yeah, let's go ahead and build up a radar station around here. Clear field, maybe. After that, maybe some more civilian factories, maybe? Lots of civilian factories? Uh, lots of civilian factories. A little and probably too much. Alright. Now, because of that, we should have an easier time doing this, right? Right. Go, 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 go. Force the attack. They're doing a little, maybe a little better than before? Maybe, maybe not? Let's see, uh, just in case we get some more water. We could probably use more water always. Research speed, support equipment, and eh, grab some support equipment. We got enough for now. Good. Come on. Come on. Oh, what's going on? Oh, just Mexican things. That's all. Cool. The prodigal son returns. Joshua Graham was once one of our flock, a gifted translator and devout Mormon. He was sent amongst the tribes to help them communicate with each other and outsider traders, brokering many a peace deal and trader treaty in his time amongst the tribes. During one of these many missions, Graham helped a certain Edward Salo out of dire straits, and an ill-fated friendship was formed. Salo persuaded Graham to stray ever further from God, and together the two laid the foundations for what would become Kaisal's Legion. Salo took the helm, but the ground was his trusted right-hand man. Together, these two committed unspeakable atrocities far to ourself, with Salo persuading Graham to deviate even further from his Mormon principles. The friendship could never last, however. Kaisal was ever fearful that Graham may one day eclipse him in power and popularity, and so kept a wary eye on him at all times. Sure enough, Graham stepped out of line one too many times, and so Kaisal ordered him executed in the most horrific manner possible. 
Manor? You mean manor? Covered in pitch, set alight, and thrown into the canyon to herself. Kaza thought him surely dead, but by a miracle of God, Grandma was spared from death. Badly wounded, but with his faith in God burning brighter than a brightest flame, Graham staggered back to the tribes of Utah, who provided him with medicine, bandages, and space to rest. After recovering his strength, Graham embarked on a journey back to New Canaan, where, he have, we, have, we, where we have welcomed him with open arms and without question. He is our prodigal son, baptized once in water, once in fire. He will do what is right to protect the flock. Welcome back to the flock, child of God. We need to get this guy positioned now. Oh my goodness. Actually, I, I want to see... Uh, I don't really have anyone I can really take out right now. You? Actually, we don't need to do that at all. I do need to do this. Hmm. Level 5. I like that. Enduring Agile. Gunslinger. Oh, man. If you have Joshua Graham, can you, like, give him, like, a special trait? Like, one who burns with fire or one who moves with fire or something like that? That'd be kind of really cool, actually. He who m burns... Oh, that maybe that maybe that's not cool. <laughs> uh, something like that. I don't know. All right, really, just kick their butts. You have more than enough support. It's only two divisions we want to kill off, but you know what? That's two I'd rather see dead than the enemy have alive. Get more agriculture. That's good, good, good. They're not attacking us in the rear. They're sending more divisions in, which really sucks. Please stop doing that. I mean, we're killing off your manpower. We we have to be right. We have to be. Nope, they sell 4,700. We've killed it off. 13,000. And it still ain't enough. Help them out. Gorilla attack is great. Even more breakthrough. We're going to grab warrior equipment next. We're even more breakthrough after that. Good. Take less losses on the attack. Get those militia divisions out there. Those pieces of garbage. Force the attack. Come on. Come on, Spec Ops. Come on, Felix Griffin. You've got this. Go, 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 go. I'll stop throwing in more divisions, you pieces of garbage. I will attack somewhere else if I have to. Hmm... Maybe not. The lines are looking pretty complicated here, but we won. Great. Go ahead and get rid of them like this, then. We shall baptize you with a holy hand grenade. Oh, hello. Very nice. Good job, guys. Corruption in New Canaan. Uh, we've already read this one in the past few ones, so we're going to root out these injustices. The fittest press to... Huh. Vehicles. Yes, help settlements. Please help settlements. Please. We are new Canaanites. We want to have, have... We want to go forth and multiply. Right? So, I'm saying, guys, if we need a government program to help multiply, maybe we can and ask for the church to give out a few funds so we can have a lot of babies. I mean, the followers of Apocalypse are doing their best, but let's be real. Like, We need babies like yesterday. Because it takes, it takes a while to grow up a child. Grow up a child. It takes a while to raise a child. For the Lord. For the Lord. It's all for the Lord. And the Lord's army. Well, mostly the Lord. Yeah, Robco is nice. I'm not really sure what this does. Elite versus people. I kind of want to see what happens if we go more elitist, but... Let's see what happens. I don't know. I really don't know. So, I guess... You know what? Uh, we get to form desert eventually. Let's go ahead and just do this so we can just build more stuff up. Political power is nice, and we're still going to get some, but... Eventually, I just want to take all of Utah over, and then we might pop up people around us. Just puppet them, like Nevada puppet the state of Nevada. Because we should be able to get free cores, basically, on the rest of Utah. We should. Should is a good word. We lost 2,000, 2,100 versus... Fifteen and a half thousand. Not bad. I doubt these guys have any more upgrades, though. Oh, Kirby does. Kirby does. Kirby do. He's an expert hill fighter. Yes, he is. Y'all, not so much. Not yet. Not yet. Hey, man, if they want to keep attacking me, so be it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll welcome their attacks for now. Ah, we got some radar, too. That helps. That definitely helps us out. Uh, military society. No, no, we are good. It is a little annoying that they keep attacking, and I can't attack, and they still have plenty of enough manpower. Lessons from Kaizov. I mean, they stopped attacking over here, which is actually really disappointing. I wish they had attacked me over here more, because that army's not doing anything now. And honestly, this is like the last 2,000 manpower we have, but we are using the mod compilation, which is a little unfair, I suppose you could say, so we can get more recruitable population. Okay. Population growth. It's only 20% more, which honestly isn't very much. So, 
it is what it is. Improved radar, that'd be good. Ooh, and actually, I gotta be, uh, and I have to do a little fade and fade. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. I thought I wasn't recording for some reason. I might have pressed the wrong button on my keyboard, but whatever. We are back, and uh, you didn't see too much off screen, which is fine. Whatever. Uh, keep doing this. Doing that. How are the Spec Ops divisions looking? Well, they're looking. They're looking very experienced. That is what they're looking. Uh, send one guy down there. There. Go, go ahead and try that. Spec Ops, you are the suicide squad, you could say. You do a very good job. Ooh, old world factory schematics. I like that one. He's actually building more factories more quickly, which is always a plus in my book. Go and do that. You know, as of late, I've really been spending a lot more caps on just scavenging for stuff. I, I kind of like it. I kind of really do like it. Good. You guys can get down there. Great! And don't even worry about getting down there. Kill those guys off. Nice. Doing a great job with it. If you want to move up north, just go that way. Just go that way. No supplies? Well, no problem for me. Oh, you actually have an upgrade. Sort of. Hmm. Entrenchment. Yeah, you could be entrenched, but that's kind of a waste on him, so... Whatever. Six divisions, go bye-bye. Yes, please, yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Slowly but surely, we are destroying the white legs. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Actually, it said cut down to one. Spec Ops, go and throw the anti-tank on there. They, We should have enough for that. And next up, we're going to do this. Right there. And then, uh, pop, pop. There you go. Easy. Keep building on more factories. That's good. That's good. Good, good, good. They've lost 18,000. They have 40 divisions. We actually have more divisions than they do now. Which is a tremendous thing. Ranches were annexed. Cool. White legs still looking pretty thick, though. Pretty darn thick. And that looks disgusting, she. She are disgusting. Ah, even more breakthrough. I love it. More organization. Thank you. Cool. Go ahead. Just march all the way this way. Send half you guys with them. And send the other half to help attack at the same time. And then you guys are going to help attack here too. So once we get over here, breakthrough, we're going to help attack. Soon enough, even though it is a little bit of a struggle. What is this? Is this... I can't tell the, the land about this. What's the land like here? It's only four divisions we want to encircle, but... Four more dead enemies is better than nothing. Come on... Get ready, get ready, here we go, and boom. Four more divisions, go bye bye, Siege of Hidden Valley, goodbye. And they really didn't like that, wow. Okay, we killed them all off already, nice, good job guys. Now I could be bold, we come here to here. Cut these guys off, get pace and done, and that, that will literally spell the end of the White Legs because they won't be able to stand up with, they lose, nine plus one is ten. 18 divisions, which they're already moving soldiers out to compensate for that, but whatever. Getting paid soon? Good. Glorious. Glorious, 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 glorious. Alright. Oh, well, they're looking pretty weak. Oh, they're actually attacking me there. Nice. Cool. That usually doesn't happen anymore. Help out, help out. Don't let them move. Ah, Khazar. Ooh, did they join Khazar's faction? They might have. No, they, sent, they got just have volunteers. It's okay. Hold on. Hold on. The res Three States Collective. Okay. And the NCR. The NCR is huge. Jesus, that's a huge NCR. That's a big old faction. Bigger, the biggest faction I've probably ever seen in quite a long, long time. Alright. Tried and true. Blast through. Oh, this is going to be devastating. Kaiser is going to be in a fit of rage once he sees this. Once, if I can encircle his soldiers. Oh, that's going to be so good. Come on, come on. Get down there. Send one division that way, too. And then we're going to launch an unholy attack from this direction. Come on, get down there, get down there. Go, go, go. Launch the attack. NCR. Oh, no, I wanted to kill the, the, oh, the Legion soldiers. They, Those lucky ducks. All right, well, everyone, they've shifted around, so they've made a big mistake. They've made a massive mistake. Nine plus one is usually ten, like I said earlier. Oh, it's still 17 divisions. Nice. That is awesome. They just decided to shift their soldiers elsewhere. Okay, okay. You know, we can go along with that. We can get down to Indian Peak. We can get down to Lincoln. Yeah, why not? This is the destruction of the army right here. This is the single greatest moment in probably New Canaanite history besides being founded. And we're not winning here yet. And that's just because, well, we got other things going on. 
What the heck are you? Oh my goodness. You're going straight for the victory points, aren't you? You are very adventurous, aren't you? Go, 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 go. We crushed him there. Crush him at Monte Ruins. The Siege of Monte Ruins. We will go, we'll go down in the history books as one of the greatest battles in New Canaanite history. Oh, we've, we've flooded in. They're done. They're done. This is beautiful. Take him out. Take him out. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. I know there's a lot of guys here. But that's okay. We've lost probably 2,500. We've killed almost 3,000 we've lost versus 22,000. Amazing. I know. Go, go, go. Go straight for Lincoln. We almost have it. We almost have it. Get Frisco City. Frisco, Frisco, Frisco. Oh, we killed them off there. Oh, yes. 24,000 are gone. Get down here. Move, move, move. The Day of Judgment, the capture of Lincoln. Following several weeks of brutal fighting across the Utah Waste, forces loyal to the Canaanites have captured Lincoln, the primary settlement of the White Lakes tribe. The capture came at an excruciating cost to Canaanite forces. Well, not really, actually. While the White Lakes stubbornly fighting from house to house in a desperate last defense of their homeland. While salt upon wounds has reported to have fled the city, there's little doubt that the White Lakes will be forced to scatter across the wasteland without their capital city in their hand. We complete... Canaan and glory. We annex white legs. We add rapid corruption, warmongering disposition, and a shattered economy. Oh God, no! We get the event a church lost in the wilderness and remove the white legs threat. Canaan and glory. The heathens have been defeated at last. Ooh. Oh, we still get that war goal against them. We have greater political power. God dang, son. Ooh. And with the riches continue to flow, combat our poor reputation. We get less war support, rekindled peace building. Uh, it wasn't down here. We need to get all the way down here to get to do that. Peacekeepers want some more. Aid the tribes. Oh, puppets. We don't have puppets. Release white. We release white legs of the puppets. Kaiser's Legion's influence on the white legs shall be crushed. Actually, we don't have these as cores, right? No, we gotta get rid of them immediately. I do not want to lose political power or manpower because of this. Some claim we deserve our fate, given the way we control the trade routes of Utah for our own profit. If we want to go forward, we need to remind the world that we follow the ways of the Lord. Oh, God. You know what? Don't even bother. Ooh, it's a little pacification. I'm kind of okay with this one. With this white leg stuff, we're gonna go with just straight uh, no occupation. We're not gonna even get involved. We've got factories for now. Not bad. Uh, just put them on the planes for now, since we won't keep them all. So it doesn't really matter. We found something too. Industry. Cool. Yeah, we gotta get through this as fast as possible. We lose war support. Fine, whatever. Uh, oh my goodness, how bad are these effects? Father's influence, decadence is clutches, a shattered economy, a church lost in the wilderness. Oh, that looks bad. It's not actually that bad, actually, but it still looks bad. Warmongering disposition, not bad. Rampant corruption, oh my gosh, why do you hurt me so much? Why? I, you know, we might be sinners, but come on, man. So the war may have been won, but at what cost? Wallace Rage, our flock at home, suffered terrible hardships from white-legged and Canaanite alike. Corruption was rife, with greasing the right palms becoming an almost necessity to survive, and it remains at an endemic proportions even now the war's over. The economy is close to collapse. Having been strained by the fighting, and we've made ma matters worse. Even our closest tribal allies are eyeing us with suspicion now that we are occupied vast swaths of land that aren't ours. We, the congregation, therefore face a choice. Do we throw our support behind Jeremiah once more, or do we choose a new leader? Jeremiah certainly saw off the white legs aptly, and he seems keen to reform the economy, but there are doubts about how far he may go to combat corruption. Daniel, meanwhile, has a pledge to reform the church and eliminate corruption, but he is less willing to follow through with necessary economic reforms. Who shall lead the flock forward? Jeremiah, all the, oh boy, or Daniel, soft touch. It's charismatic, people, support, blessed are the merciful. It really looks like, with this campaign... Okay, let's talk about the next campaign whenever I come back to it. We're going to be, like, going full ham, full crusader, which probably sounds better for Jeremiah Rigdon for this one. For this one, we want to be blessed. We want to be, you know, relatively peaceful, air quotes, peaceful. So I think it'd be good if we just went Daniel for now. We want to stay with the peaceful, the people party. We all, we want to be blessed, blessed other merciful. So let's go with that one. And we get a new guy. Look at him. It's handsome Daniel. Handsome Daniel. There we go. That should help out improve stuff. Oh, look, we actually got Rushing Wind, too. Oh, that's actually really good. Tar Walkers is a puppet, or we own his new Nephi. That's pretty good. Conflicted Industrialist. We have him. And Venture Circuitry. We currently get more Elite Support. So let's minimize that by getting Daniel right now. So now this won't go up or down. Hopefully. And let's see. Reinforcement speed? Good. Now, I'm not exactly sure where to put my our troops. Like, maybe on the border against these guys? Maybe? Ah, Matthew Payne. He suffered too much. 
the White Legs buckle. Following recent military defeats across their home territories to invading forces, the White Legs seem to be making a last stand soon. They'll collapse under the weight of enemy forces and scatter across the wasteland. Time will tell, but these isolated and desperate groups may pose an even bigger threat to our nation than the centralized White Legs force. If the White Legs are annexed, become a puppet, or lose ownership of the capital, an event will fire reasonably soon after the collapse, unlocking an alternative path to complete the Canaan and Glory focus. Do not fear the focus tree is not broken. Notify the Border Patrols at once. Oh boy. Oh boy. So this guy. We did Observant Leader, so even more recon. And we want to keep a lot of recon. Let's see. Uh, attack, defense. He's mostly going to be leading infantry for the most part, so we'll probably just choose that one. Uh, smooth Talker. Let's go with Light Touch. Nice. In the meantime, train. Train for the Lord, for your work is holy. All of your work is holy. Never forget. You do it for the Lord. Cool. Uh, yeah. Keep building this stuff up, too. Man. New Jerusalem was so close to getting... Just being lost. Oh, my goodness. That was... That had me a little apprehensive. But we powered through. Trust in the Lord, and don't make a mistake. And he shall reward you. Hopefully. Usually. You gotta have good faith. You gotta have the faith, as Billy Joel might say. Uh, let's see... Or keep the faith. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've listened to that song. And I think we've got time. Time to do this. Nothing says holy military like having a bunch of piercing power. Oh, we'll pierce our enemies like the hell they pierce Christ under that cross. Which sounds terrible to say, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta put holes in your enemies. Hmm, how far can I take this? I don't know. Hmm. And we're about to get paid soon? Good. The nation's gotta be paid. So we can help the poor. That's what we want to do. Help the poor. Let's see. Good, good, good. And Spec Ops, they did really great. They they, sh they showed the world, or at least the Wasteland, what is capable of New Canaan. Alright, so this should be done very soon. <clears throat> and... Beautiful. Aid the tribes. Ooh, settlement protection. Oh, we lo lower our mobilization stuff. We release the Tar Walkers as a puppet as well. That's not bad either. Wait. Oh, we can't go. Riches must continue to flow. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Oh, man. We, oh, how do we get down? Oh, how do we do that? No, I didn't realize we weren't able to go down that path. But we can go in Pious Hands. Okay. That's interesting. So I, I was kind of hoping we'd go down this way. Decadence and Wealth. But you know what? I'm kind of glad we don't have to go down this way. Scavenger Battlefield? This doesn't look very interesting. I mean, the, uh, Widespread Bribery seems okay. Give more political power. Gains core. Oh. Yeah, he seems like a very decadent person. Old railways. Huh. Open to traders. Well, I'm kind of glad we go this way. This seems more interesting. Oh, hold on. Ba fall back on scripture. Or teach the nine beatitudes. Oh, my gosh. Which one do we want? Reach out to the tribes. Rebuild destroyed settlements is always good. Help the helpless. That seems good as well. Preach in the occup... Oh. Oh, preach to the white legs. New theology, the arms of God. To, we can oh, we can puppet people around us. Bring God brings us closer together. God strengthens our resolve. Our home is non-negotiable. Ooh. Um. <sighs> Return to the dead city. Well. I was going to ask you guys whether we should fall back on scripture or teach the nine beatitudes, because when we go down in the next campaign, when we play this again, we have to go down with this, because we want Joshua Graham as a leader probably, and we'll have to go down with Stoke Revanchism and stuff like that, because we will lose Canaan in Flames. But like we are going down this path, and if we're going to go down this path with Canaan in Flames the next time, we're going to be forced to go down this way. So we might as well choose or turn to normality, going down here. So we will go down Teach the Nine Beatitudes, but let's withdraw from the South first. With the White Legs defeated, we should withdraw from Southern Utah. After all, there's an important difference between killing in defense and waging war. Yes, we still want to be good, holy folk. Even though we won't have any manpower by the time we get down there. It is it is what it is, to say the least. This is why we must have more natural population growth. More natural population growth. And we're still mobilizing... Well, not mobilizing, we're still training more soldiers, I mean. Oh, we stopped creating more divisions here. Elite breakthrough tactics. Going, uh, I think it'll be okay. Spec Ops are always nice. 
let's just let time go on. It doesn't matter too much for me at this point. More organization is always good to get. Always good. Anything else? Anything that we really need to know? Military society? No, we're, we're pretty good. Plus 0.5, minus 1. Minus 0.5, plus 1. Hmm. Yeah. I want a core stuff, but... We probably don't need to. And we actually justify on anyone else? I don't think we can. The Painted Men assume a faction leadership of the Free States Collective. Oh, we still can't go to war. Oh, that's not good. Contact Lost. Let's go rescue them real quick. Send a rescue team. Good. We found them. I love it that we can always find them. That's always good. So even if they think they might get lost, we can still find them. And that is one of the worst times to have a civil war as you're fighting the NCR. And you're winning. Wow, look at Kaiser. He took out all of this area down here. Jesus. Oh, uh, I mean, Jesus, not taking his Lord and na his name in vain, but, you know, praise Jesus. Uh, let's see. Get, you can get more water, why not? Research speed, that'd be, that'd be okay. Still building ourselves up. Oh, let's get some more factories, though. Oh, we're still building up a lot here. Also take over Petro Chico. Old World Factory Schematics, that's fine. Still want to build a bigger industry. We're looking pretty good. Honestly, we're looking very good. Wish we had another research slot, but that's okay. What resources are we missing? Oh, see, we do actually need more water, energy, as well as scrap metal. Huh. That's why I keep doing that. It's it's necessary. Necessary? It's necessary. Armor hardening? I love hard armor. Love it. Let's see. Anything there? We could get rid of open traders, promote caravan companies. We did... Well, we might just stay with this, even though it kind of hurts us. I love that construction speed, factory output, research speed, and it just makes sense for now because we're trying to be peaceful as possible. We want to be peaceful traders, and but not too decadent. I think that just would fit us fairly well. Are we still losing this? 0.79? No, we're not. Good. And we're going to withdraw from the south. All right, there we go. And the White Legs Apostles, led by Stalking Cyrus. Ah, there you go. As a convent of a fallen power. Well, you're not really foreign to us. You are under us, and you shall always be under us. And aid the tribals. Let's not do that. In pious hands. Maybe there is no place left in this world for mercy. But even if it tramples me into the dust, I will never accept it, and I will never condone it. Right, Daniel? Very right. Charismatic. He's been a devout follower of the Lord all his life, or at least for most of it, probably. Let's see. What does he say? Turning... Uh, New Canaan's slow de slide into decadence, Daniel began to emerge as an alter alternate figure within the church. He never dared challenge the word of the living prophet Jeremiah, though Daniel was never afraid to speak up for the downtrodden and protect those in need. Sensing danger he may oppose to his rule, Jeremiah often sent Daniel on long, disorganized missionary campaigns throughout the past two decades. While effective at limiting Daniel's pushback against growing decadence, Daniel's work with the tribes of Utah provided him with a deep understanding of the customs and ways of life, and made him many friends among the tribes. During the crisis of the White Legs offenses, Daniel returned home and quickly became a figurehead of those who thought Canaanites had lost their way. Characterized by his kind eyes and warm words, Daniel leads his flock with tender care. Oh, we're, oh, we're still on every cap for the army. Hopefully we can keep this for a while. Hopefully no one realizes that we're still, like, basically on uh, war economy. Hopefully no one... Oh, God, we already lost that many factories. But the soft hands of the holy... Daniel's approach to all things theological has always held a comforting appeal to the tribes we preach him. Pledging to spread unity and compassion, Daniel has been named the new president of the church, but has been cautioned against pursuing some of his more drastic reforms by the influential traditional bloc of the church. Fortunately, he has had more pressing concerns to focus attention on for the time being, including deciding on a policy regarding tribal converts to the faith, as well as dealing with the dark stain of decadence on the nation. If he can deliver his bold promises, the church will surely be more united and more powerful than ever before, but his path will not be smooth sailing. Teaching the Nine Beatitudes. The Beatitudes of Matthew are fundamental to the Church of Latter-day Saints, and they shall see us through these dark times. By reminding people of our roots, we shall depart from sins that led us to these dark times. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Well, I'm not sure about this earth, but you know, it's kind of radiated. That's okay. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure and heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who per are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for so men persecuted the prophets who were before you. Ooh, widespread rivalry, more political power, more division, organization, and less consumer goods factories being used up by other terrible things. Ooh, oh yeah, and the White Legs Apostles, we can clamp down on autonomy, which we actually... We got the political power for it, we might as well, right? 
We've got to keep them under the uh, church boot. I don't know about that, but you know, we'll see what happens. And I just close that, and I want to look back to see if there's anything else. Not really. Let's see, 70, 15, 15, that's pretty good. I like seeing that. At least two lines going at the same time. How is Lincoln doing? Warriors from across the wastes. Ah, uh, yes. We can actually see what they're doing now. Home in the Ruins, owns New Canaan. Yeah, I don't think so. Pioneer, I love Pioneer Day. Uh, warriors from across the wastes, additional warriors will come. That's good. Words of the Prophets, completed the Chiefs of Utah. Where is, ah, oh, they can't get down there. Oh, boy. Yeah, they can't get down there, which is fine with me. White Claws, Thunders, Gods, and some of magic, Ancient Magics. They still might be able to do this, yeah. They still, still do that. They get Demo Tech 3. Very good. I'm glad we have a good old ally that we can teach and persuade and make them whole and holy. And I, do I want to do one more focus before we end this episode. So we got just a little bit less than a month for that. Prophets from the Caravans, nice. Church schools are great things. We still get religious immigrants. Ah, oh, that warms my heart. And it warms Daniel's heart as well. Medics of the Lord. Corruption. Not so good. How much political power do we get? 0. 0.64. That's not a lot. Rekindled peacekeeping or peace building. Industrial support is pretty good to have. I like that. Ranger doctrine. Mm, yeah, that's that's still pretty good to do. More breakthrough. Yes, please. Follow Flagstaff. Good, good. Oh, good. The bull may soon be no more. If NCR. Oh, the NCR does win. Oh, Vulpus, ooh, they're going to take all the land probably for themselves. Oh, wait, we saw the Tarwalkers under us. Oh, Death Claws ate some of our team. That is unfortunate. Uh, with the Tarwalkers, no occupation? I don't mind this. I like this. We can probably go to Spread Agopolis, but I'm not going to do it for now. Uh, why like Apostles? Timekeepers. Oh, we can still core this, but I don't want to core anything that... I don't want core anything yet. I don't want core anything yet, yeah. Tar walkers. Yeah. Side channel attack, not bad. Hey, we're done here. Nice. Good stuff. And they'll get some more uh, resource efficiency gain as well. Teach the nine beatitudes. A great thing. Help the helpless. Not bad. Rebuild destroyed settlements. Turn swords into plow uh, what is it? Plowshares. Oh, we could release the tar walkers. That actually would probably be very good. So let's do that. With the threat ended, it is time to return to our loved ones and put the 45 away for now. So, that is the end of this episode, my friends. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was interesting trying to defend and beating up the White Legs as best as possible, but I hope you also enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe, perhaps if you are new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will probably see you tomorrow with, or in the next episode, as the Legion will be destroyed. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.